Ida Lupino is returning to the motion picture screen after a 17-year absence. So, Miss Lupino, it just has to be the first question. What was it about this role of Elvira that tempted you back to, to the screen? Well, first of all, um, my agents said, would you, we want to send a script over to you. Mr. Joe Wazan is producing it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sam Peckinpah is directing it. Steve McQueen and Robert Preston are starring in it, and would you like to play Steve McQueen's mother? And without reading the script, I said, I'll play his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> With that lineup, it was definitely. Well, I've seen the picture, and you'd have to have lots and lots of makeup to play, play his grandmother, I can oh, tell you I that. I wouldn't say that. You're very kind. No, I've seen the picture. Now, the other thing that I would like to know is that but the first day you went back on the set, were you at all nervous about it, Miss Lapine? Oh, yes, very, very. Uh, I, I think when you've been back of the camera for a long time, and you haven't made a motion picture for so long, there's that natural nervousness, you know, natural, your first day and first couple of days. What were you shooting that first day that, on the set? Well, um, actually, I was very lucky. It was the rodeo stuff. <laughs> and I didn't do much except stand and crowds and waved to my husband, Robert Preston, who plays Ace Bonner, and who is marvelous in it. I'll, 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 I'll drink to that. that. <laughs> he is. He is, indeed. <clears throat> You've been directing and writing for some 17 years now. When you first uh, wanted to be a director, was it a difficult thing to convince people that you could and to give you a chance? Well, actually, I never wanted to be a director. Uh, it was just an accident. I'd co-written the screenplay with a picture called Not Wanted and was co-producing it. And uh, our director, unfortunately, had a heart attack, so... The picture had to be made for 125 pounds and we couldn't have pulled another three. Fortunately for us, the picture was just as fun. The lyrics and music, <laughs> which I like to do. <laughs> and uh, but the money men said no. I had to direct the second one. And then it was like a snowball, you know. It kept on. And then Howard Hughes took over our company. And uh, he insisted I direct the first three with RKO. And that's how this ugly thing happened of me getting in back of the camera. But when you took over, Miss Lapino, that is really an about face for an actress, isn't it? You've been in front of the camera, but then it's a whole nother world in back of the camera, isn't it? Um, yes, a whole nother world, a very good world, though. But it wasn't a difficult... A lot of nice it wasn't a difficult adjustment for you? Yes, I was terrified, absolutely terrified. I was never off the phone with our editor saying, have I got him coming in the room in the right direction? Is she looking in the right direction? I was like a bird trying, you know, yeah, trying to fly for the first time. Did you make any, any, uh, goops? <laughs> well, I made so many, I can't even enumerate. <laughs> but you mean on the first picture? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, but I was always calling him. I was saying, you know, I think I've reversed myself here. He'd say, yes, you have. So I'd have to quickly shoot it over again. I'm sure you're not the first director that's done that in some of them. Well, your directions in camera. Yes. Now, you surely, of all the motion pictures you've made, Miss Lupino, there are some that you would probably like to remem be remembered for more. Which are the ones you most like to be remembered for? As an actress. As an actress. Uh -huh. so there are so many I want to forget. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care to name any of them? Do you care to name any of them? No. All right, I will press that. I will press that. Not. But the one that you really would like to be remembered for, which one? Be remembered for? Which one? As a performer, well, there's only one I really cared about. That I thought I was halfway decent in, and that was a thing called Ladies in the Sun. It was a New York State play, and I did the screen version. I thought I gave a fairly decent performance, and I didn't shudder when I saw myself, for a change. <laughs> who, who were the other people in that? Oh, it was Elsa Lanchester, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Edith Barrett, Lewis Haywood, Evelyn Keyes, and Lee Payne Murdoch. <laughs> Miss Lupino, 
I know you have to go now and dress for the Miss World and interview the I do thank you for taking time to talk with us. Now please, don't stay away from the Miss will you? No, I won't, right? My sister was on, will have me back playing a grandmother or an aunt. I'd be delighted. Thank you very much, Miss Ida Lupino.